I am Alejandro Lopez, Application Engineer at Anthropology, and today we'll be talking about ribbing parts for injection molding. Automotive parts are commonly manufactured in, in plastic or in metal, and injection molding is really a, a big technology in automotive, obviously, because of the, the production rate and because of the very nice lightweight and ribbing possibilities that it offers. So today we'll be seeing how NTOP can contribute to obtaining uh, optimized um, designs, ribbing designs that take into account the load path or the topology optimization of your part to increase the rib thickness density where needed while keeping the wall thickness constant. So here we see a few examples of, of designs that can be generated within NTOP. So I propose that we jump right into the software and have a look at the workflow. So here's the input geometry, the, the brake pedal. Um, basically, the first thing we do is we generate a ribbing pattern, as we can see. And then we can simulate this part that is made of uh, nylon 66, a common uh, injection molded material. And we see that we obtain 41 millimeters of displacement or stress results of about 62 megapascals. Okay, so that's the performance of this design for this load case, which is 20 kilogram of force on the pedal. But something very interesting we can do is we can do a topology optimization of this part, see where material is truly needed to perform properly in terms of stiffness and increase the rib density in those regions in order to have a more performing part and have less stress concentration. So I also ran this topology optimization, okay, smoothen that result in order to use it to modify how those ribs are going to be distributed. So what we see on the screen right now is the same ribs, the same ribbing method from before, but we have obviously performed some density changes based on that topology optimization. So we can see how these load paths are taken into account by the ribbing distribution. I hide the topology optimization. We see those ribs being much more dense in this region while keeping the wall thickness constant. So what this means at the end of the day, if we look one more time at the static results, but now for the modified design, we pass from about 41 millimeters of displacement to about 33. So we reduced almost a 20% the, the amount of displacement. So we are much more stiff while reducing the stress concentration since we have added material where we truly need it. So we pass from about 61 megapascals to about 49 megapascals of stress values. Okay. So this is the idea of, of this workflow, but of course there's many variables that we can explore. There's different ribbing possibilities. There's different rib discretizations that we can consider. So let's, for example, for the original design, let, let's change the amount of ribs. Let's say that instead of 10, six, we want to do a design with five and three. Okay, so we change those values and then we just need to wait for a few seconds and the whole workflow will run again without any effort because with implicit models, you have fully parametric workflows that never break. So you can change this geometry very quickly. And here is our new design, as we can see here. Okay, and also if we look at the modified one, 
it's being generated there in the background. Okay, so you see how fast we can generate new geometry and this new design still is still following that topology optimization automatically. Again, those load paths are being taken into account for this new design. So it's, it's very fun to design with NTOP and, and very, not only fun, it's very efficient and it'll make you save a lot of time because once you have the workflow set up, you can explore different alternatives very, very, very quickly with no manual effort at all, just by changing parameters. So if I go back to the previous design, another thing I could change instead of changing the amount of ribs, I can change the type of ribs that we are using. So for example, I can go ahead and, and do a simple cubic. And one more time, the whole workflow will run again. Okay, so this is the new ribbing that we have on the brake pedal. But one more time, we are in the background generating the other ribbing possibility as well with the field driven rib distribution based on the topology optimization result. Okay, so here it is. And one more time, we observe that that topology optimization is being taken into account to distribute the stress properly, okay? So we see that we have always those ribs where we need them. All right, so I could spend the whole day changing uh, possibilities and, and amount of uh, divisions per axis and so on, but the best way to explore this really is through design of experiments or by running a, a little Python code that you have available for download. And in these design of experiments, basically, I actually I kept the same amount of ribs, which was 10 and 6 per axis, but I varied the fact of um, distributing the ribs based on the topology optimization result. So we observe very interesting things. For example, if we look at the simple cubic, the simple cubic gives us a stress of 57 megapascals and a displacement of 56.6 .6 mega millimeters and weight savings of 27%. But when we add this topology optimization field driven uh, capability for the rib distribution, we are reducing four megapascals of stress and we are getting a much stiffer structure. We go from 56 millimeters of displacement to 45 millimeters of displacement. So we are both reducing the stress concentration while increasing the stiffness. But of course, this means that we are saving a bit less of weight. We are, instead of saving 27%, we are saving 23%. We observe similar trends for the other uh, ribbing types that we studied here. So if I look at the body center cubic, again, I reduce the stress, I, in, I reduce the displacement, but I also reduce the amount of weight savings by 4%. And we observe a similar trend for the face center cubic, which is this kind of um, um, design. And of course, since there's more material, there's less uh, displacement is the stiffest option. But we observe something interesting here. If we are designing for stress and not for displacement, being more rigid doesn't necessarily mean having a, a lesser uh, stress value. We see that actually we might increase the stress when we are putting more material. This is because of hyperstatic phenomena that happens when we, stiff a lot, we stiffen a lot locally, we can actually end up increasing a little bit the amount of stress in a region. But of course, this makes the structure much stiffer. So you've seen how quickly you can evaluate with NTOP the effect of 
using different types of ribbing and also what effect it has on, on the behavior of your component to modify the rib distribution based on the load path directions. So that's what I wanted to show you today with NTOP. And one more thing I wanted to show is at the end of the workflow, when you are happy about your, about your uh, design, you can actually take the curves of your rib and you can bring those to CAD software, like for example, CATIA. So I did that for the first design that we saw for the body center cubic. So basically I brought the curves to CATIA and then I was able to generate these extrusions and integrate that perfectly into the shell. So we have that very same brake pedal that we generated in NTOP here in CATIA. You can work with it. You can do operations like, for example, maybe adding a edge fillet here, if you'd like, you see. You can add fillets in the internal regions as well. Of course, these are operations that can be automated with NTOP as well. But if you want to keep, just want to show you that if you want to use your NTOP result in, in CATIA and keep modifying your structure, this is totally feasible. So to summarize it, we can study a lot of different ribbing options for injection molding in automotive applications. We can evaluate with what options we get the best stiffness, the best uh, stress distribution, how much weight we are saving for each uh, alternative, take into account topology optimization results for the best um, stiffness versus weight, and then putting that back into CAD software. So that's what I want to show you today. Thank you for, for your attention and yeah, so we also have a lot of interesting marketing content in our website. Don't hesitate to check it out. More applications every week coming up uh, from myself and, and many of my colleagues. So very excited to, to be here every week showing you applications and hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.